Here yeah, similar problem in the exercise uh, 1 by x minus 2 by y plus 4 equal to 0 and 1 by y minus 1 by z plus 1 equal to 0 or 2 by z plus 3 by x is equal to 14. These type of problems are very important. Uh, so here also we should substitute uh, some other variable for uh, 1 by x, 1 by y and 1 by z. We can, uh, we can take uh, a, b, c are like that or p, q are similar to that, similar to the previous problem. So p equal to let uh, p equal to 1 by x and q equal to 1 by y and uh, r equal to 1 by z. To find the x, x is equal to 1 by p and y equal to 1 by q and z equal to 1 by r. So after finding p, q, r, just reciprocally we will get the value of x, y, z. Now substituting the given equations, uh, 1 by x as p and 1 by y as q, 1 by z as r. From the first equation, we are substituting here, 1 by x is p minus 2 into 1 by y minus 2q plus 4 equal to 0. We can form an equation in this, uh, bring this constant right side, p minus 2q equal to minus 4, let it be equation number 1. And then for the second equation, 1 by y minus 1 by z plus 1 is given, 1 by y is q, 1 by z is r, from the second data, q minus r plus 1 equal to 0. Now bring the constant right side, q minus r equal to minus 1, this is equation number 2. And then the third equation, 2 by z plus 3 by x is equal to 14. First take x value, 3, 1 by x into 3, 3 into 1 by x, that is 3p. From the third data, 3p plus then write the z value, 2 by z, 1 by z is r, which will be equal to 2r equal to 14. Now this is the equation number 3. Substituting 1 by x, 1 by y, 1 by z as p, q, r respectively in the given three equations, we can get a p minus 2q equal to minus 4, one equation, q minus r equal to minus 1, another equation, 3p plus 2r equal to 14, third equation we will get. Solving these three, 1, 2 and 3, we will get the values of P, Q and R and then uh, reciprocally P, Q, R will get the value of X, Y, Z here. So look at the equations here, 1 and 2, we have uh, P, Q, R. Here we have P and Q, here we have Q and R. And uh, comparing 1 and 3, P, Q, P, Q, R is given. So in these two equations, uh, uh, every equation is uh, one variable is left out. Now, taking P and 1 and 2 and then eliminate Q. Take 1 and 2, eliminate Q. And then again, uh, take 2 and 3, eliminate, uh, uh, take 1 and 3, eliminate uh, Q, uh, P. We will get the answer. Listen carefully here. First solve 1 and 2. Here we have q, 1q, here we have minus 2q. Multiply second equation by 2. Now, 1 into 1, no change in it. Which implies p minus 2q equal to minus 4. And multiply second equation by 2, we will get 2q, 2q uh, minus r, 2q minus r. 2q minus 2r equal to minus 2. Now, minus 2q plus 2q get cancelled. Remaining are p minus 2r equal to minus 6. They are an upper sign. We need not to change its sign. Directly you can cancel. Minus 2q plus 2q get cancelled. Remaining p minus 2r equal to minus 6. Now, solving... These two equations, look at the third equation. Here we have 3 P and R. Here also we have P and R. So solving this 3 and 4, let it be 4, equation number 4. Now solving 3 and 4, we will get the value of P and R. Just look at here, this is 2R, this is minus 2R. Adding 3 and 4, we will get the value of P. So 3 plus 4 implies, 3 plus 4 implies. Third equation is 3P plus 2R equal to 14. And the fifth, fourth equation is P minus 2R equal to minus 6. Adding the results, we can have, I'm writing here, 3P plus 2R equal to 14. And the next one is P minus 2R equal to minus 6. Now, 
adding the equations we'll get uh, these two eliminated of uh, 4p equal to 8 which implies p equal to 2 8 by 4 equal to 2 we found the value of p substituting p equal to 2 in uh, equation number uh, 4 we'll get 4 implies substitute in 4 4 implies 2 minus 2r equal to minus 6 now uh, bringing this to the right side minus 2r equal to s, minus 6 minus 2 minus 8 now uh, r equal to 8 by 2 equal to 4 now we have found the value of r p already we found 2 and now uh, we have found the value of r equal to 4 now uh, substituting we need the value of q now substituting p equal to 2 in equation 1 1 implies 1 implies substituting p equal to 2 in 1 1 implies 2 the value of p is 2 minus 2q equal to 4 2 minus 2q equal to minus 4 the 2 minus 2q equal to minus 4 now minus 2q equal to minus 4 minus 2 now minus 2q equal to minus 4 minus 2 now I am writing here, it is not visible. Here substitute P equal to 2 in equation number 2. <coughs> Equation number 1, we will get uh, 2 minus 2q equal to minus 4, minus 2q equal to minus 6, and q equal to 3. We have found the values of pqr, p equal to 2, and q equal to 3, and r equal to 4. But we need the values of x, y, z. To find the x reciprocal p value and to find y reciprocal q value and to find z reciprocal the r value. So x is equal to reciprocal of p 1 by 2 and y equal to reciprocal of q 1 by 3 and z equal to reciprocal of r 1 by 4. So x y is the solution is x y z equal to 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 4. Next question, uh, about problem, there are 12 pieces of, total number of pieces 12, there are 12 pieces of, 12 pieces of 5, 10 and 20 rupee currencies whose total value is 105, there are 12 pieces of 5, 10 and 20 rupee currencies, its total value is given as given its total value equal to 105 when first two sorts are interchanged in their numbers its value will be increased by 2 first two two sorts means if the 5 rupee notes and 10 rupees notes are interchanged in the shards their value will be its value will be increased by 20 so and interchange first two shards interchange first two shards value increased by rupees 20 value increased by rupees 20 now find the number of currencies in each shard Find the number of currencies in each shard. Find number of currencies. Number of currencies in each shard. First of all, let the number of currencies in 5, 10 and 20 rupees be X, Y and Z. Let 
x, y and z be number of currencies in rupees 5, rupees 10 and rupees 20 respectively, respectively. Assume that x, y, z are the number of currencies in 5, 10 and 20 rupees. Now, by the given condition, the total value is 105. So, and the total number of pieces is 12 here. So, these are representing the number of currencies. Its total value will be equal to 12 is given according to the given condition. According to given condition, the first equation is sum of x, y, z equal to 12, x plus y plus z equal to 12. This is equation number 1. And then, by the given another data, the total value is 105. That means, uh, 5 rupee note x number, 10 rupee note y number, and 20 rupee note number z number, totally its value is 105. That means, uh, 5x plus 10y plus 20z equal to 105. Now multiplying the amount with the number of currencies, we will get the total value 105. And the third information given as interchange of first two sorts. That first two sorts are 5 and 10. Interchanging 5 to 10 and 10 to 5, its value is increased by, its value is increased by rupees 20 is given. Look at here, the total value is 105. The interchange of first two sorts, that is, these are the first two sorts, y and x are interchanged, which implies 5y plus 10x. So, no change in the third sort. So, 20z equal to 20 is increased, its value is increased by 20. Already we have 105, then increase 20, it will be equal to 125. So, this is equation number 3. And the previous one is equation number 2. This is very easy. By the given data, we have formed three different equations. There are three unknown variables. Now, we should solve these three equations and we should find the value of x, y, z. To solve this, listen carefully here. Then, first take 1 and 2 and multiply first one by 5, eliminate x. So, 1 into 5 implies... 1 into 5 implies 5x plus 5y plus 5z equal to 12. And then uh, writing the second equation as it is 2 into 1 implies no change in it. 5x plus 10y plus 20z equal to 105. Now subtracting we have. Subtracting we have. The eliminator. Then 5 minus 10 is minus 5y. Here minus 15 is that equal to minus 45. Divided by minus 5, we will get 1y plus 3z equal to 1y plus 3z equal to minus 9. Sorry, 9. Because we are dividing by minus 5, 9. So, here by dividing by 5, 1y, here 3z and 9. This is equation number 4. And then now, the first equation is x plus y plus z equal to 12. And then now multiplying the first equation by 10, 1 into 10 implies 10x plus 10y plus 10z equal to 120 because the first equation is x plus y plus z equal to 1 uh, 12 there are 12 number of pieces the total value is 12 now multiplying the first equation by 10 10 x plus 10 y plus 10 z equal to 120 now keeping the third equation as it is 3 into 1 implies first write the x term 10 x and then y term plus 5 y then z term plus 20 z equal to 125 now, subtracting again, minus, minus, minus here, minus. 
here x eliminated 10y plus 5y 10y plus 5y equal to 10y minus 5 equal to 5y then 10 is at minus 20 is at minus 10 is at equal to minus 5 now dividing it by 5 again divided by 5 we will get y minus 2 is at equal to minus 1 this is equation number 5 here now solving this equation 4 and 5 just subtracting 4 minus 5 so 4 minus 5 implies 4 is a y plus 3z equal to 9 and 5 is y minus 2z equal to minus 1 subtract minus plus minus here plus now y get cancel eliminator 3z plus 2z is 5z 9 plus 1 is 10 which implies z equal to 10 by 5 equal to 2 so z equal to 2 we have got the value of z z equal to 2 and then now substituting z equal to 2 in the above equation uh, equation number 5 or equation number 4 we will get the value of y so 5 implies y minus 2 into z value is 2 equal to minus 1 now y minus 4 equal to minus 1 which implies y equal to minus 1 plus 4 plus 3 so we have got the value of y now substituting y and z in the first equation equation number 1 is x plus y plus z equal to 12 there are 12 number of pieces in this substituting y and z value x plus 3 plus 2 equal to 12 here 3 plus 2 5 on the right side minus 5 so x is equal to 12 minus 5 equal to 7 therefore x is equal to 7 so we have a solution x is equal to 7 y equal to 3 and z equal to 2 therefore in rupees 5 the number of currency is 7 rupees 10 number of currencies is 3 and rupees uh, 20 the number of currencies is 2 that's all now here uh, next word problem uh, given that sum of digits of a 3 digit number is 11 sum of the 3 digits of a number is 11 for example I am taking 524 as a number adding its digits 5 plus 2 7 7 plus 4 11 like this way one number is exist so sum of the digit is 11 its sum is also 11 and the digits reverse new number is formed digits reverse means this 524 will be equal to 425 in this way we are forming a new number from this number that is this is an example I am taking here this is not that required number the digits reverse means in this way 524 reverse as 425 now 46 more than 5 times the former number now uh, when we rever reverse the digits 46 is uh, increased with the original number multiplied by 2 uh, multiplied by 5 and uh, 46 is increased that is the second case is when the digits reverse new number is formed 46 more than 5 times the former number the third condition is hundreds digit plus 2 times tens digit equal to units digit so there are three conditions given here first one is sum of digits of three digit number is 11 and the digits reversed new number is formed that new number is equal to 46 more than 5 times the former number and hundreds digits plus two times tens digit will be equal to units digit if it follows these three conditions, find the original three digit number is our question. To find its solution, let uh, assume here let x, y and z be tens place hundreds digit hundreds digit and uh, tens digit hundreds tens and ones unit digit respectively 
and a unit uh, digits respectively and unit digits respectively listen here x y z b x represents hundreds digit y represents uh, tens digit z represents units digits unit digits of a three digit number now the required number is by the given condition sum of the digits is 11 so digits are x y z so according to the condition according to the given condition first equation is x plus y plus z equal to 11 x plus y plus z equal to 11 first condition is x plus y plus z equal to 11 and the second condition is what is given in the second the digits reversed and the new numbers is formed the digits reversed and a new number is formed the new number formed is 46 more than 46 more than 5 times the former number 46 more than 5 times the former number now the original number is for every 3 digit number is in the form of original number is 100x plus 10y plus z this is the 1 into z or z is the original number always a 3 digit number is in the form of 100x plus 10y plus z the x is a hundredth digit y is a tens digit and z is units digit is taken the original number is in the form of 100x plus 10y plus z for example if you are taking 325 now 300 plus 20 plus 5 this is 3 into 100, another one is 2 into 10, next one is 5 into 1. So, 100 place 3, 10 place 2, so 1 place 5. Like this way, we can write 100x plus 10y plus z is the original number of a 3 digit number. Now, by the second condition, given that reverse number, digits reversed, the reversed number that is here, I am writing here. Reversed number. Reverse number is uh, z and x are interchanged. 100 z. Y as it is kept plus uh, x. This is a reversed number. Now, by the condition, reversed digits. The digits reversed means 100 x plus y, 10 y plus x is equal to. According to this, this is taken as first equation. By the condi second condition, digits reversed means 100 z plus 10y plus x will be equal to 46 more than 5 times the former number this is the former number for 5 times the former number 100x plus 10y plus z plus the 46 more 46 means plus 46 increased so when, when we reverse the digit the original number multiplied by 5 plus 46 is added addition 46 is additionally 46 is added now when we simplify this we will get one another equation to get that equation multiply 5 inside now we will have 100 is at plus 10 y plus x is equal to 500 x plus 50 y plus 5 is at plus 46 now simplify grouping one side we can have the equation as 500 minus x is 499x and then here 50y minus 10y is 40y for z here we have 5z 100z in the left side minus 100 so minus 95z and then uh, plus 46 on the right side uh, it is minus 46 equal to minus 46 or plus 46 is equal to 0 then we can simplify as uh, form another equation 499x 499x plus 40y minus 95z equal to minus 46 let it be equation number 1 First equation is sum of the digits is 11. Simply we can get x plus y plus z equal to 11. By the second condition we have formed the second equation 499x plus 40y minus 95z equal to minus 46. 
Now by the third condition, hundreds digit plus by the third condition we can form the third equation that is the third condition is hundred digit hundreds digit hundreds digit is a uh, x so x plus two times tens digit two times tens digit is y equal to unit digit unit digit is z now bringing z to left side x plus 2y minus z equal to 0 this is taken as equation number 3 we have three equations the first equation is x plus y plus z equal to 11 sum of the digit is equal to 11 by that uh, we can form an equation x plus y plus z equal to 1 and the second condition digits reversed uh, digits reversed equal to 5 times the original number plus 46 simplify it we will get uh, 499x plus 40y minus 95z equal to minus 46 and the third case is hundreds digit that is x plus 2 times tens digit as 2y is equal to units digit equal to z now forming one another equation x plus 2y minus z equal to 0 we have three equations now solving these three we will get the value of x y and z Now I have written the three equations here x plus y plus z equal to 11, uh, 499x plus 40y minus 95z equal to minus 46, x plus 2y minus z equal to 0. Now adding the equations 1 and 3, we can cancel z. Here we have plus z, here minus z, adding 1 and 3, 1 plus 3 implies x plus y plus z equal to 11 and x plus 2y minus z equal to 0 adding these two 2x plus 3y equal to 11 this is equation number 4 and then we have eliminated uh, z in the two equations 1 and 3 now by taking another two equations uh, and we should eliminate the z value is a variable z for that I am choosing the two and the uh, first two are uh, chosen Multiply the first one by 95, it will be 95z and here we have minus 95z, both get cancelled. So multiply 1 by 95, equation 1 into 95 equal to 95x plus 95y plus 95z equal to 95, 95. So 5, 4, 1, 0, 4, 5. that is equal to 1045 95 95 equal to 1045 now uh, taking the second equation multiplying second equation by 1 that means no change in it uh, simply writing 499x plus 40y and uh, minus 95z equal to minus 46 now both are in opposite side we can cancel it uh, z get cancel the remaining is uh, here uh, subtracting uh, will get uh, here the get cancelled so remaining is uh, here 999 which is equal to constant 999 which is a uh, plus and uh, y term are uh, 40 plus uh, 95 here we have uh, 135y 135y and uh, the constant are here uh, adding uh, 9 plus 5 4 uh, plus 19 and 594 594 uh, plus 594x plus 135y equal to 999 now dividing it by 27 divided by 27 or uh, divided by 9 then uh, by 3 we will get 22x which implies 22x plus 5y plus 5y equal to 37 equal to 37 directly divide by 27 or divide by uh, 3 3 times you can get the uh, answer finally or divide by 9 divide by 3 you can get these answers so which implies 22x plus 5y equal to 37 now this is equation number 5 now solving equation 4 and 5 solving equation 4 and 5 will get the value of x and y here 
and we have 2x here we have 22x so r we can uh, eliminate y first here we have 3 here we have 5 that is easy to multiply so equation 4 into 5 which implies 10x plus 15y equal to 55 and uh, multiplying the fifth equation by 2 which implies 44x plus sorry by 3 multiply a uh, second equation fifth equation by 3 which will be equal to multiply fifth equation by 3 which implies 66x plus 15y equal to called 111 called 111 now subtracting this minus 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 here minus 56x here y eliminator that is equal to minus 56 which implies x is equal to minus 56 by minus 56 equal to 1 we have found x as 1 substituting x is equal to 1 in 4 4th equation 4 implies 2 into 1 2 plus 3y 2 into 1 2 plus 3y equal to 11 <coughs> now 3y equal to 11 minus 2 and 3y equal to 9 which implies y equal to 9 by 3 equal to 3 then we have found x and y substituting x, y, uh, x and y in the equation number 1 1 implies x x is 1 plus y y is 3 plus z equal to 11 which implies z equal to 11 minus 4 so z equal to 7 so you have found all the values of x y and z x is equal to 1 y equal to 3 and z equal to 7 so the solution is uh, here so look at here we have found the solutions of x y z now substituting in the original number the original number is 100x plus 10y plus z is the original number substituting in it 100 into x x is 1 so 100 into 1 plus 10 into y so 10 into y value 3 10 into 3 plus z z is 7 simplify this 100 plus 30 plus 7 137 so the original number is 137 and the reverse number is reversing the digit 7 31 so the original number is 131 find the number is required the original number is 137 the reverse number is 731